fall camp just how's it how's it been for for you obviously your first one here sure. with with this coach and staff and this team it's been really good uh refreshing and the guys are competing at a high level you know the back and forth every day has been awesome you know the play by play rep by rep period by period and the back and forth is good you know i think we got a really good team and a group of guys who work together you probably have the one position group that maybe didn't have quite as much influx of depth right. as as some others but you know, Coach Simons has talked about it a couple times that he thinks that the talent is maybe more than than has been here before. What have just you seen from that? Yeah, that few and mighty for for sure. Like I just, for, I've only been here for a little while, but like the guys we have again, I think that they do a good job of being together. Uh, I think we got a, a good group of smart players who are competitive. Uh, I think we got good depth, and I think the depth in the competition, you know, it pushes a lot of the guys. Uh, to perform at a high level because you know the the, the next guy on my heels like if I mess this up you know he, he's coming for my rep so and and then they're together so they push each other no one steps on each other's toes or gets in each other's feelings about about anything because we all want to win. Seems like that rotation is kind of ever changing. You look out there sure. with the ones and it's different guys. How important is it to kind of see how guys react, how they respond, how they work with the guy with them, seeing all of that right now? Yeah, I, I think that's huge though. I think that's a part of camp. Because, um, you know, nothing's like etched in stone right now, right? So you got to go through the process. I need to be comfortable playing with whomever, uh, whether it starts that way, whether it finishes that way. Uh, because throughout the course of the season, who knows who you're going to be playing uh, next to. Um, so you want to be comfortable with that guy, know what it takes, how to communicate with one another. Everyone has strong uh, strengths and weaknesses. Uh, so working with a different guy, you may be able to help him a different way than you help another guy. So again, with, with us being together, I think that's an asset for us and it forced us to grow and it forces us to communicate at a high level. What's the most surprising thing you've seen so far through camp? For me, again, it's just how, how many days we've shown up. Um, you know, you, usually it's like, you know, the offense has a good couple of days and then the defense has a good couple of days. It's literally like back and forth like, like every day. So uh, it's, again, it's because I think we're so competitive as a group that we're never out of it and we're always going to find a way to respond and that's just been impressive to watch on a day-to-day -day basis that the guys just keep coming back period to period play by play no one ever is down never know it's too high and uh, we just stay consistent what have you seen from chris is maybe he's now had the summer every to absorb everything yeah. from spring just as he continues to take on that new role yeah i think he's looking well i mean he's put on a bunch of weight uh he's carrying it well though that's always a concern when guys you know put on 10 pounds are they going to be slower? Are they going to be huffing and puffing? But Chris has done a good job of gaining mass but, and keeping it on throughout camp, but still running, still playing fast. Uh, and I think that's helped him. He's been he's much more confident taking on blocks. He uses his hands better. Uh, he looks more natural at linebacker. And it's been it's been a sight to see the, the change from the spring to now. It's like it's, it's literally night and day for us. So he's a guy that we're really excited about. Obviously, we're excited about all of the groups. and I mean, all of my guys at linebacker, and we're just working day by day. Is that fun though as a linebackers coach to have a guy come into the position and really see him embrace it take it on and then kind of excel at it yeah i mean it, it's awesome i mean it's like obviously uh if we didn't have guys like that they wouldn't need me you know so i'm happy to have a job and happy to have projects and things to coach but when you got a guy who really wants it and coach whatever it takes to get on the field and he's all in on it he's been studying you know he's been reaching out he's just becoming with every rep he's coming more and more natural at the position so uh, he's a really good football player too, so it's not like uh, it's, it's, it's no fun to coach, you know, because the guy has talent. You know, he's played at a high level. He's played in the secondary. He's got good speed, and he's not afraid. So the transition is going well. He has a lot of the, the traits naturally uh, to be successful at linebacker. Would you say he's uh, stepping up as a leader for the guys? Yeah, I think so. Uh, in his own way, you know, he's an older guy in the program. Another guy who's played a lot of football. He's not a, a big rah-rah guy, but he's definitely uh, he he kind of he's. He gauges the tempo really well. So if they need a let's go, you'll hear him from time to time. I see him talking to the younger guys, like, hey, do it this way. Uh, he also, and, and, he, and the way he asks questions, and he's not afraid to ask questions, it's encouraging to a young guy because he kind of teaches them in that way. Because uh, he's very confident in himself and his ability, and it shows when he plays.